Hey, what is happening, everybody? MG here, MG Covers, bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video is the college football preview for the semifinals. Super excited to bring this video. If you're watching this video for the first time, greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And also, let me not forget this. Happy New Year. Hope you're uh, having a great day and enjoying the day. So, before we get into the two playoff games, I'm going to give you my lines for both of those games and a strong lean for today. If you're watching this video for the first time, greatly appreciate you subscribing. You can get a lot of content from me simply by following me on Instagram as well. That screen name is MG Covers, cover spell with a Z. There's a link to follow in the description. So let's dive into this. Super excited about this um, Alabama-Michigan matchup. But first, I want to give you a look at the Texas-Washington because the game I'm actually going to play is going to be between Alabama and Michigan. But let's look at Texas-Washington first. You can see there uh, Texas lined open at minus four. It's gone down to minus three and a half. Bookmaker has it at four. Texas is a non-public team. Let's take a look at my line for that. We have Texas as pretty huge favorites here at minus 12 and a half. Um, I would say a lean on Texas, probably not going to play that game. So let's go back to the um, Alabama game here. So you can see the line that opened at plus one and a half. Alabama heavy public team uh, lines up to three and a half at some books, um, plus one and a half. I can promise you, I don't think that line will stay at plus two. The majority of books, I do feel like it's going to come down to probably one. I, I believe it might end up at a pick em, to be honest. Um, you've already seen it at, it's at plus one and a half at Pinnacle, which is the sharpest book out there. Now, let's go back to my line. So when you look at my line for this one, we have, we have Alabama at minus four. So via the model, it's looking like a close game and definitely a strong lean for me on Alabama. But want to look at something that I don't normally talk about with regards to uh, football is looking at coaches record and Coaching in these big games do matter. Why? Because it's rare for a team to make it to the playoffs, college football playoffs. So they a lot of these coaches lack experience. And another reason why it's difficult is, especially when you compare the Big Ten to the SEC, it's not the same. Let's just be honest. It's not the same. And case in point, Jim Harbaugh's record in the bowl games. This is not playoffs. This is Jim Harbaugh's record in bowl games. He's one at six. So a lot of times, even though Michigan is a good team, a dominant team in a big team, big 10, but they generally play better competition. These bowl games end up losing and his record in the college football playoff, 0 and 2, 0 and 2 in the playoffs. Conversely, Nick Saban in semifinal playoff games is six and one. Excellent coach, excellent team. And when you give a, t when you give a great coach plenty of time to prepare for your opponent, that definitely favors the better coach. And there's no doubt, um, Nick Saban's a better coach here. It may go down in history as the greatest co college football coach ever. In the playoffs, Nick Saban is, is nine and four in the college football playoffs. He's three and three in national championship games, which I don't think you can hold that against him. But semifinal games, he's six and one. And I really predict and feel like Alabama's going to win this uh, win this one outright. Now, how I'm going to structure this? If the line gets down to say plus one, um. I would probably play that, take the points in that situation because if you play it on the money line, it's going to probably be, um, uh, you're going to probably have to play juice, maybe minus 110 or something. So it's advantageous to go ahead and take that plus one because it's going to probably be minus 108, minus 110, depending on your book. So big play for today is going to be Alabama uh, plus one. If it, if it closes at two and a half, um, I don't think it will. You might be might look at playing that on the money line if you can get, say, maybe like plus 115 or so. But if it's around that plus 110, I'm probably going to take that point or point and a half and roll with Alabama. So if you want access to all my power rankings for all sports, we have a lot going on right now. Uh, you can do that 50 bucks a month. There's a link to join the description box. If you want access to all my plays, 100 bucks a month. And the best value of all is joining for an entire year. You save about $600 um, off the year. And you pay that one time, four ninety nine. You get access to everything on the site. Good luck, roll tide, and talk to you guys soon. Peace.